Okay, well, in today's video, we are going to talk about everything that Andrew got at the flea market during his last visit. I was able to stop by, but only for a brief while. So, I don't know what he got. And we're yeah. gonna look through it. And it's gonna be a mystery okay. unboxing of let me, sorts. Let me go into this first box here and see what we can get. Hi, <laughs> yo! Okay! <laughs> I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. That's pretty neat. Yeah. It's repurposed paintbrush and other odds and ends that they used and made it. That's a, fun. It is. It's super cool. And it's already, look, it's already. It's got a hanger thing on it. It's got a it. hanger on it already. So. There's probably some craft uh, fair or something. You can make a necklace out of it. Yeah. You could be That the, is a really cool necklace. You could be pimping PD paintbrush. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. This is really cool. That is um, neat. I think this, well, I think this came out of Bill's. Yes, I'm pretty sure this came out of Bill's. Made in Taiwan? I don't know, I liked how it was all carved yeah, and the design to it. I like that. Hmm. I did, I stopped, um, Connor was there this week and I was able to snag a couple of the blue pieces. Mother in the kitchen. Yep, and this one I think is a toothpick holder. Yeah. Blue mother kitchen pieces. And I was able to get another, this guy is cool with the bird on his shoulder. Yeah, does he have his name on his back? Yes, he is a Royal Dalton. I can't read it though. I'm having a hard, yeah, I could have had a hard time reading it. Oh, the falconer, it's on his bottom too. Ah, uh, I paid five bucks for the two mother in the kitchen pieces. Mm -hmm. Plus that. Stop focusing because it's your face. <laughs> Plus this little Japanese Native, Native American man. figurine guy. Mm -hmm. Plus there was two of these little John Bulls. I'm not sure what the purpose of these, maybe letter holders or card holders. Um, I thought they were interesting. They've got the little slit in the top. Yeah, they could be for um, place settings to put a little place. Well then who would they stick the fat boy in front of? <laughs> That would be a fun thing. Would that be my place <laughs> setting? You're gonna stick the fat boy where I sit? Mm. I think I would get John Bull. He's kind of angry looking. Ooh. Aren't they cool though? Oh, that would be so fun. That would be a fun Thanksgiving. We should do that. We should find some know, more of these. Placeholders and put fat boy in front of who? I don't know. Mm. We'd have to decide between now and then. Okay. I don't think that was focused. Um, there were a bunch of little Civil War soldiers that I grabbed for myself. Um, <laughs> and that was, that. I, again, I spent five bucks at Connor's booth and I got the, the kitchen ladies and the Toby and those guys and a handful of little Civil War soldiers for myself. So that was pretty good. Uh, let's see. There's a giant box in front of the table, which we are not going to lift up onto mm -hmm. this table. Um, it is an entire set. Eric's had the set for a little while. Um, and you've seen it before. And yeah, you guys have seen it. And we did some research online and these these do sell. So, I mean, the nice thing about this this whole set is when I do go through this, that it'll be pieced out because I'm not shipping that entire giant box all in one shot. That's, yeah, that's just massive. crazy. Unless somebody buys all the pieces. But that's just crazy, because shipping's gonna be ridiculous. Um, but like these are a set of uh, tall glasses, Sasaki, and they're that... Um, Smoke glass. Smoky glass, yeah. So you had seen the stemmed glasses in the video they're, yeah, previously. They're spiral. But there is a whole set of different types of glasses, so these are drinking glasses and it includes the entire set of these. Yeah, so, and they all have their original stickers on them. They're new old stock. Um, most of them are still wrapped in their original paper. These were, these were in that house clean out, stashed up on the top shelf in the, the room with all the glass down in the basement. Just packed away and packed away. And everybody's just been kind of passing on them, but I, you know, I had because a, it's so overwhelming because it's such a giant box. It is. It's very overwhelming. Now, Eric has a lady that works with him. She buys from him that she handles 
nothing but sets of dishes. Large sets of dishes. And God bless her, because I wouldn't want to ship a large set of dishes. Now we're talking like 18 piece sets, 12 piece sets, 24 piece sets, forget that noise. Anyway, so, but this is cool. And they're saleable items, pre-packaged. Ooh, I did get this at Connors on my second trip. I liked how it was etched. Is it etched? Is it well, flash? The, it's flash, it's red flash, but the flowers are, the designs are etched in. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that. And there's no chips around there. No, it looked good. Hmm. Usually you find them and there's a chip. Very nice. Better, better nice. Um, there was some more postcards and paper. Um, I can't really go through all that. It's kind of tedious. Um, this is really cool. These are turn of the century. I'm going to pull the lid back on the, the box. Most of these are found. You'll actually find these in a lot of museums. These were saved by... Really? Yeah. These are made in Germany. This is the lid for the box. Yep. This has got the little booklet, the Eagle Stone Bricks. Wow. And then the little bricks that are in here, they even have like shape to them. Like this one's like a top of a pillar. There we go. Hmm. So like all these little all these little blocks and bricks. You can build it out. You like can this. build what's on there, yeah. Yep. Interesting. Yeah, it's a cool little set. And like I said, the original booklet's in there. It's got color inside. The color on this is really cool. So what's the, oh, 19, patent 1900. 1900. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, this is a turn of the century toy. That's amazing. Made in Germany. Um, and it comes in this fancy little box. And you just slide the lid back It's on. amazing that that has survived with those graphics and all that paper and. I know. Wow. So here, I'll kind of try to hold this a little bit now that the lid's on. And you've got the box and the lid just slides in. There's a groove on the inside. And it's a pretty well self-contained little box with the display graphics on the top. Really cool little that set. That is neat. Who'd you and get that from? This is another Eric item. This is this is a very saleable set. That's really cool. Um, I picked these up. You're going to yell at me. <laughs> but I, I actually got, grabbed these for uh, donation. Um, these are good for the coin clubs that I belong to okay. to put up for cheer So when we put stuff up as club members for cheer mm -hmm. the club gets whatever it brings at auction at the club meeting So these are kind of cool. I Got a box of stuff upstairs. I got to drop um, Just the coin plates This one's got the half dollar. Oh, I'm sorry the dollar on it. That's a silver dollar carnival, please. Yep. Well, that one's carnival this one is clear with all the hmm. coins on it. 1971. Yeah. And then I think this one is 1964, and that one's clear. So there was some other little odds and ends paperwork in there yeah. for local coin club information. So I, I think the guys will get a kick out of these. They like this kind of stuff. Um, it'll give a few bucks to the club treasuries. I like it. So. They don't cost us. I will approve. So, if I pick that stuff up, there's a reason. This is really cool. Oh, wow. Look at this old bronze door push. That is so neat. Yeah. I wish there was a pair of them. Um, one would do, though, for the right application. But could you imagine that? That's, that's really that I love so cool. those antique. That's so deco, too. Windsor. So deco. I wonder if we could use that in the building. We might be able to. Maybe we could use it on the restroom. That's what I'm thinking. That'd be kind of cool. We'll see. We'll talk. We'll, we'll hash that out. That's not a bad idea. We got some. I picked that out. Did you? Yes. Did you? I did. Eric and I were debating. I picked it out and I'm like, Eric, what do you think this is? I think we settled on Rand's bottom, Rand's bird, bird, bottom. That one. <laughs> but it's just a little dish with the blue stripes. It's pottery. A little uh, the salt glaze. Yeah. Yeah, uh, normally they would come in sets, but I think it's a little uh, 
Cool. Little dishes that you have like creme brulee in. Oh, yeah, you yeah, call yeah. Those? Yeah, little dishes that you have creme brulee in. No, what are the actual dishes called? Um, I don't know. I don't eat creme brulee. I'm not I fancy love like creme that. Lima J. It's a pretty little vase. Limoche? Lima J. I refuse to say it correctly. I know. Don't and sometimes this. I catch myself saying it the way you say it, and then I feel stupid. All right, I'm just really curious, because this lady's like genuinely older, and her belly's kind of round. You and your once more for old time's sake. <laughs> ah, it is. Now you get it. it. Is. Now you it get is. it. Is. Oh my god, and the old man's like, what did I do? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love it. Well, he knocked up his old lady. <laughs> you just Ooh. had to read it. Oops, I didn't read it. That is so funny. That is hysterical. And well, it's, they're um, shakers. And Nesco. Yeah, they're shakers. <laughs> Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> this is cool. This is marked. Looks like a Asian cartouche of some yeah. kind. That's really cool. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eric. <laughs> I, knew, I, I, I knew he did that, too. I, I knew. Oh, that's too funny. Notice he's never given us stuff from the place that shall not be named, though. <laughs> Why not pottery? Why not North Carolina? Ah, that's These really are... pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Focus. It's not gonna focus. There we go. Those are so pretty. Those are so fall. I know. And fall is <laughs> Spring? Fall? I know. I think it's been a long day. Yeah, it's been a very long day. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cool. What are those daffodils? Or, or irises? I'm not sure. They're pretty though. Yeah. Why not? Why not? I like them. Set of four. Hand painted Nippon. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Also from Goodwill. <laughs> Eric's got game. That's gorgeous. Ooh, I grabbed these from Bill. Um, this piece is stangled. I liked it. Yeah. It's got a little doink on the base, which you can't see on the, on the bottom side of the base. I see it. Well, you see it if you flip it over. I see it. It's right there. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> no, it's nice. What is it? 24 karat? Yes. 24 karat. You found gold at the flea market. <sighs> no. <laughs> this is really cool. Um, Crazy Horse Memorial. Korzak. It's Black Hill, South Dakota. Cool. I like that. You, you don't see too many souvenirs for up there. Um, I picked that up at Bill's. I snagged these little Indian head scent cufflinks. Yes, yes, I see that opal. I'm, I think it's massive. It's beautiful. I don't know if that's an opal. Really? I think that might be something fake created. Oh. I don't believe it's an opal. Doesn't look right. Um, it's got too much fire. Yeah. However, we do have a little four leaf clover stick pin here that I do believe has a little emerald chip in the center. Yeah, it's cute. And I gotta look it over really good. I don't think it's gold. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's not gold. I give it to Casey, a resident jeweler. Oh, here's a matching, matching one to go with your I like those. Got some nice. Ooh, those are pretty. Ooh, flow this They're matches. a little crunchy together, though. It's the um, on the bottom. It's it's the porcelain. Mm -hmm. I like those. Just gotta wait. Oh yeah, there's sand in there. 
sand. And there's like little grits of sand. There's a gravy mm -hmm. that matches. And, and, oh, nice uh, charger. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, this is a nice, nice grouping of pieces here. These do have some crazing, but that's okay. That's kind of expected. Yeah, but I do like the color on them. Um, and let's see, this box, and then one last piece in this box. Oh, is that a Goodwill sticker? It is a Goodwill sticker. Oh. That's really nice. A pheasant. I like pheasants. <laughs> it's Austrian. Austria. It's pretty. Walter's going to love shipping that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you were with me for this one. Yes. This is Hager. Hager. Kind of looks like him, actually. It's the same color. Um, this is a lime peel glaze because it looks like a lime peel. Smart Hager on it. Very nice. And the puppy. A cute little puppy. We've had one of these before. Oh yeah? Yes, we have. It was a while ago though. Super cute puppy. There's a pair of these in here. I'm gonna have to ask him I have to ask him what he told me the name was on these. But these have like this pine cone. Yeah. Unless they are fust are they they might even be fustory. Yeah, that's cubist. Yeah, it looks like it. There's a pair of those in there. That looks cubist to me. Those are pretty. And they're heavy too. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, I know you're gonna hate me. <laughs> but I only got one. Um, I will tell you, and, and I need everybody to know that he is repaired. Ah. One of his scarf pieces yes. was glued back on. It's actually a really nice um, repair though. It's it's larger than the other Hummels that we yes. had. It's much bigger in size. Um, really cool piece. I, I like it. It's a really good repair. It, it is. It is. They That's did a, actually really impressive. They did a really good job fixing that. You, you cannot okay. hardly tell. Yeah. <laughs> it's cute. Here's yes, I picked them out. Little owl. Little stone carved owl. August 25th, 1953. Shirley, I hope you had a very good time tonight. Really, I was expecting you to be here when I came over. After all, you said that you would. Does that say flow? It looks like ho, but I'm sure that's not what it says. Yeah, it's probably not ho. <laughs> oh. So, oh, it was a so. <laughs> I guess you didn't either, but anyway, I thought that you would. Holy smoke! Oh well, I just I don't even know what just went on here. Melvin's on a roll. I'm really hurt though, Melvin. <laughs> Melvin's Melvin's upset at Shirley. Okay, in 1953, Melvin, and you know what's even better. <laughs> Is whoever saved this? Oh my gosh! Wrote the date in a different kind of ink, so they actually <laughs> saved this. They wanted to wait a minute! Save it. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Even better! Wait box. a minute! Even better yet! Even better yet! They taped the ripped <laughs> seams on it to save it forever, because Melvin's anger matters. I just can't even. This is like texting before texting. <laughs> But at least they had the courtesy to put it in this fancy little piece of milk glass. <laughs> I'm dying over that. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks, Melvin and I'm Shirley. Not, I will, I'm dying. I'm putting no, that. No, the story behind this note. I don't know, but he, Melvin and Shirley. Oh, he almost lost the link. Melvin and Shirley are going to stay together. Forever in this little trinket box as long as <laughs> as long as I have it now whoever else gets this 
I don't care what you do with Shirley and Melvin. But they should probably stay inside this little box. <laughs> it sounds like Melvin's an angry little man and he should be locked inside oh, this box. You know what? This is sad though. Or maybe Shirley was mean. No, she maybe totally, we should lock Shirley inside this little box. She totally just ghosted him. <laughs> that poor man. She ghosted him. Holy smokes. Oh well. Just... What? Don't... This, this poor one. I feel really bad for Melvin. Bye, Melvin. <laughs> oh. These are cool. These are super cool. Actually, I think these wound up in another box, and I don't know how I wound up with the box, <laughs> and, but I definitely wound up with these. I saw them in your box, and like, oh, Andrew ended up picking those. They well, they were in a box to go to another customer, and they passed on them. So I immediately said, yes, please. These are actually, yeah, we these are made. Him. Yeah. yeah, these are made out of uh, tobacco labels. Yes, they're very cool. Yeah, super, super cool. We were we were checking them out when uh, he first found them. And uh, they're this one, really this one's got a little. I think this might be. Is this the top to that one? Did it get stuck on here? It's possible. And yeah, I think this is the top to that one. Quite possibly, and that's why that's. Yeah. But that's okay, we can, we can, can fix, fix that. It. So we've got these little umbrellas. These are really cool. I like these. These are these are excellent for little decorations. They like are. On a tiki bar or something. Yes. You know, you don't I wouldn't use them in a drink because like this one's got string at the bottom. Yeah, it's and you don't know where point. they came from. <laughs> but for a little tiki <laughs> decoration, these would be killer. I like them. I found this guy in the bottom of a box. And I thought of you. Oh, he's so cute. A little fox. A little fox. He is cute. Why is Charlie so angry? Is there a chicken in the yard? I don't know. I'll have to go check in a minute. Medo Crusa RD. But mm, I don't know. Pretty. I really like the colors, the lines. Yeah, it's got nice lines. And it's stamped into the pottery. It's not like written on the pottery. Yeah. So I think they put a little bit more into that. I grabbed this just because folks seem to like these heavy and this one's got some great design. I like and that. It's marked. Yes. AQ or RQ. Yeah. That's super heavy. Oh my gosh. I know, right? I was and not I expecting could not, that. I cannot find a, a hallmark or anything There's on There's a sticker residue right there. Mm, I know. But it looks like it's cast. Oh, it's definitely cast. Absolutely. Yeah. Cast aluminum? Yep. Um, now, I'll just go over these briefly. You guys saw in the video that I bought an entire box of books about Gettysburg. So I'm not gonna go through that entire box because that entire <laughs> box is not going anywhere unless they're duplicates in my collection. Um, but I have 26 Stephen King books. They're all first editions. Um, so here's here's what happened. You have, to, um, you have to know what first edition is first printing, what is second printing. There's many aspects to a first edition of a Stephen King book. For example, Salem's Lot. I'm gonna go check the birds. I'll wait for you. Okay. Okay. I gave them seeds. Okay, you ready? Okay. All right, so there are a couple different ways to look at this book as a first edition. The first thing you look at is the copyright date. Okay, there's only one copyright date in this book, which means that this is a first edition because they would recopyright it later on with like 1978 for the second edition, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. However, there are multiple printings of a first edition. So on Salem's Lot, there's an edition of the first edition, a printing of the first edition that sells for about $700. Mm -hmm. The way I was able to tell the difference between the $75 version versus the $700 version is one, the dust jacket is a little different. This one has a barcode here. Um, 
and also the cover of the book. See how this is black and red? Mm -hmm. the, the really good one is a solid color, is a solid like maroon color. So the, the, the binding of the book is different on this one as, as opposed to the, the really good expensive one. So when you're, when you're looking these up, if you go into a store and you see Stephen King books, look at them. Don't discount them. There may be a first edition there, and some of these first editions, even though they're second printings, carry is this one here. This is actually a $90 book. That one right there. This one is a $90 book. If it was the first printing of the first edition, it would be a $1,000 book. Wow. Carrie is a very, very sought after first edition. So Stephen King books can bring you money. There's 26 different ones here. I'm not going through all of them. Um, they're all in really good shape. They look to be in good they're shape. They're in really, Carrie especially, there are no tears in that dust jacket. Um, and again, same thing with Carrie. The reason I can tell that this is a little different is number one, inside here where it has the logo that says Carrie Stephen King on the first printing, it has a, a more scroll work and a 1974 in the scroll work. And also when you take the dust jacket off, it's two different colors. It's not a solid color. So if you're, if you know what to look for on these, People will pass up Stephen King books because they, they don't think that there's value in them. There is. Don't turn your nose up to them. Look at them. You might you might grab one of the good first editions. Well, now I know because I never look at books. I love looking at books. I know you do. So. That's why I bring you along. <laughs> <laughs> um, last few things. Yeah, I think this is it. Um, I grabbed this, this was really cool. 1853, Mount Vernon Hotel, Cape May, New Jersey. Oh, cool. I would love to see if that hotel is still there. Wow. I mean, I would love to hit the beach right in front of wherever that was. Illustrated London News, 1853. Yep. And it's got that really nice litho on there. That's so cool. Hopefully they can see that. Closer. When did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I saved this for last because this is like one of my favorite things is old photographs and paper. Now, mind you, this is a bunch of railroad workers mm -hmm. working along the side of a, a rail line here. Mm -hmm. And you've got, you've got some more rail workers here. Uh, uh, well, I mean, we don't work, we can, we've got some, some folks in front of the cabin. We've got, let's see, oh, we got a nice little horse-drawn buggy. It's, With a little it's boy in it. Subject matter, subject matter, subject matter, subject matter. This one is a gorgeous scene, 1920s, I'm gonna guess, maybe teens, on a lake with a resort in the background. They're on a canoe. Yeah. I mean, this is like, this is killer stuff. I love this stuff. Um, we got some more workers, uh, railroad workers here, another, mountain pass but the best one and i don't know how this got left in the box because when i talk <laughs> about subject matter it's awful to say it but disasters are the best subject matter for old photographs especially when it comes to railroad accidents that's nuts this i can actually i'm going to take some time to research this accident because I can see that the work cars are PRR, Pennsylvania Railroad. So this was this is probably something local here that happened. And I've got a photograph of it. That's nuts. Is it focused for them? Um, you, all you can see is the ring light. There you go. That's so. I mean, just just the sheer fact that you get a photograph like this. Of, of a railroad accident that happened a hundred years ago. That's crazy. I know, I know, it's insane. So when I saw that in the box, like my heart skipped a beat. I was like, Ugh. That's nuts. It took me a second to realize what it was. And then I was like, so look at old photographs. Subject matter, off the wall, crazy stuff. The crazier, the better. Yeah, very cool. 
Um, for some of you, you may think it's morbid. You may think it's wrong. You may think it's disgusting. That's fine. That's okay. But this is stuff that's, it's, it's history. It's happened. And a lot of the times these wrecks, you know, people weren't actually hurt or injured. I mean, we had, you know, you hear the train all the time. We had a railroad wreck out in front of our house in the early 1900s and nobody was injured. Right. But it was like this huge wreck and it was all over the news and back then. It was right. in newspapers and stuff. There's been, nobody was injured. There's been multiple, there's been multiple train wrecks right in front of our house. And I don't believe there's been any deaths. No. But multiple train wrecks, no deaths. I'm sure there were injuries. I'm sure the yeah. I'm sure the engineer, if if he did not get killed in this, I'm sure that he got banged up pretty bad inside of a piece of iron. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, the, these photographs, these really lock a moment in time. That's pretty crazy. Like really, like it's just it's 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 a moment in time that you'll never ever see again. So, I don't know. I get excited about that stuff. Maybe I'm a weirdo. <laughs> but I think that's it. That's, yeah, that's the flea market. Um, our total spend with Eric was only 150 this week. Okay. Um, Dave wasn't there. Bill, I got, I think I spent about 140 bucks with him total okay. on the stuff I bought from him. So, which I feel like there's stuff missing. But there's not. There's that. Oh, there is that. We forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yes, That's there right. is it's that. not going anywhere. <laughs> there is that. You can't really see it too much in there. I know. You can only they, see they like saw the, it the video. They don't see it again. <laughs> You're mean. We paid. Uh, we spent twenty dollars there. Yeah. Yep. At Mike's booth. Yep. $20. Yep. Yep. But um, I think it was pretty. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. We got some cool stuff. I'm happy. And. Uh, yeah. I think my favorite is the note from Melvin. Poor Melvin. Melvin. I really want to know his story. I'm, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight without knowing. Have you ever seen the movie Anger Management? Like forever ago. Oh, Hebrew Melvin. I feel pretty. I feel pretty. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I can't. Mm. I come from a little Bavarian town. <laughs> Look and see. Never mind. <laughs> I love that movie. Oh anyway, God. enjoy the rest of your afternoon with that thought. I love you. I love you. All right. Well, on that note, we're going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, tomorrow will probably be a video from Lancaster because we are leaving tomorrow to go to Lancaster. And we are. Sequentially, that's what will come next if I post an order. So we will see you guys later. Bye. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.